Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to filter for duplicate values with conditional formatting. This video is a free sample from my Filters 101 course. Filters 101 is an online course that will help you learn Excel filtering techniques to prepare and analyze your data faster. Now let's check out this video from the course. So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to filter duplicates with conditional formatting. So I have this data set here. It is in, a, in an Excel table, uh, but you don't have to have it in an Excel table for this uh, particular technique. Just there's a few things that make it a little easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at and see if there's any duplicates in this order ID column right here. So I first want to select all of the cells in that particular column. Now this is easy with an Excel table. Uh, you can just hover your mouse over the top half of the header row and you'll see it turns into a down arrow there and then you just left click and that will select all the cells in the uh, column right here all the cells in the body range of the column and you can also do this with a keyboard shortcut so with any cell selected in the column you just press uh, and hold the control key and then press space bar and that will select all the cells in that particular column so with all of those cells selected we're going to apply conditional formatting we're going to go to the home tab on the ribbon and then here in the conditional formatting drop down we're going to choose highlight cell rules and then duplicate values right here. And that'll bring up this uh, duplicate values window. You can see it's already done the highlighting for us here. And you can uh, choose uh, some different color options here if you'd like. I'll just leave it with the default and then hit OK. So that's applied conditional formatting here. And we can now see all of the cells that contain duplicate values in this particular column. And now we can use the filters to filter this down. So we can uh, just select here from our filter drop down menu and we're gonna filter by color and we can either filter by the, cel the cells fill color or the font color. So I'll just choose this red font color and that will filter down all of uh, or my range here to display all the duplicate values in this particular column. And then of course we could see that these are not necessarily together. So 1011 is here and then right here as well. Now we could apply formatting here to kind of group these duplicates together. And this will work with text, dates, or numbers. It'll work with any data type. And so I'll just uh, press the filter drop down menu again and sort smallest to largest. And so now I have my duplicates grouped. 1004 is here, here's 1009 and 1011 are all grouped right here. And now I can take whatever action I need to take to either remove these duplicates or maybe go back to the source data system uh, or to the person that I got this data set from and let them know that there's duplicates here and this might be an error of some sort. So the next step obviously would be to take whatever action you need to take with your duplicates. But this is a very easy way to just quickly see if there's any duplicate values in one specific column. So in the next video, we'll take a look at how to filter for duplicates using a formula-based approach with the COUNTIF function. So that was a sample video from the Filters 101 course. I have developed this course to include all the filtering techniques I have learned and used in my career to help me prepare and analyze data. The course consists of over 30 short bite-sized videos using my simple step-by-step -step learning system. You can watch the videos anytime you want on any device from the comfort of your own home or office. Please click the link below this video to learn more about Filters 101. I look forward to helping you learn these important data analysis skills and saving you time with your everyday filtering tasks. You can leave a comment below this video with any questions or suggestions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.